In problem number four, we're using the percent scale on a clinometer to determine the height of a tree. The nice thing about the percent scale is you can stand any distance away from that tree, and it's going to give you the same process here, the same math that you will do. Generally, you want to be plus or minus 15% of the tree's height. So if the tree is 100 feet tall, you would like to be, you know, between 85 and 115 feet away from the tree to get an accurate view of the top and have a good estimation of the height. Um, the nice thing about the percent scale is it doesn't peg you in to standing at exactly 33, 66, or 99 feet. It gives you a lot more flexibility. So with a clinometer, we always take our up angle and subtract our down angle. So here our up angle is under 24%. 124 minus a negative six. Okay, because our down angle is negative six percent. If you're on flat ground and your eye is above the base of the tree, that should always be a negative number. So subtracting a negative is the same as addition, right? And so this is really equal to 124 plus six, which is going to equal 130 percent. Now, if I want to convert a percent into a proportion, I divide it by 100. So 130% divided by 100 is equal to 1.30. Now, we walked 80 feet away from the tree. What this is telling me is that tree is 130% of the height that I walked away from. So to do that mathematically, it's now a 1.30 times 80 feet. So there's our units feet. When you do that, the tree should be 104 feet tall. And here's our answer. Now we walked 80 feet away from that. That's not exactly within our plus or minus 15% that we would like. Uh, that may not be the most accurate estimate we made of the height of this tree. 